today, the 19th start of the season for the 33-year-old Patrick Corbin. Yeah, and you're looking at someone with Patrick, obviously, 101 innings that he's pitched, almost 102, 130 hits. Now, big things that you're going to see are the high ERA, 5-1-3 with a 1-5-9 whip. He's been really good at times. He's battled through. He's had six inning starts, quality starts. Catching the inside corner, first batter of the game is a strikeout for Corbin. Corey Seager missed a little <laughs> bit of time on the IL, but he has gotten off to such an incredible start. Couldn't hold up there, and it's back-to-back -back strikeouts of Simeon and Seager. Not a bad start to the game for Patrick Corbin. One, two, three, all on strikeouts. All All-Stars sat down by Patrick Corbin. Well, Dane Dunning on the hill, 28-year-old, heading into the All-Star break, having the best season of his career. So I'd say so. You can see the numbers there with that eight and one record for Dane Dunning. He has been a savior for this rotation. First batted ball for CJ Abrams. He's handled by Simeon over there at second. An error on Dunning that has Thomas on first base. Could be two here as Simeon the flip. Seeger the turn. That time it's handled at first, and a 4 6 3 double play means it's the minimum for Dane Dunning in the first. Fourth straight All Star starter for Patrick Corbin to face here, leading off the top of the second inning. Patrick Corbin looking pretty sharp here to start things off, and he just struck out four straight All Stars. And Mitch Garver here. It's a weak ground ball to second. Garcia up with it. And another easy inning for Patrick Corbin here. Against the Texas Rangers, no score through an inning and a half here in D.C. Two outs here in the bottom of the second, no score. Runner at first for the Nationals, that brings up Dominic Smith. A little flare out to shallow center, and a great over-the-shoulder catch by Corey Seager to end the inning. Back to the infield over his shoulder, a really nice play by Corey Seager to take a hit away from Dominic Smith. Seven up, seven down for Corbin, first four on strikes. Now the number eight batter, Ezekiel Duran. Corbin reaches back there and finds his fifth strikeout on the first trip through the order. Here's Leody Tavares pitch. Swing and a ground ball toward the middle. Abrams to his left, two steps. He gloves, he throws on the move. Stretch by Smith is in time for the out. And Corbin is three up, three down for the third straight inning. Seager struck out swinging his first time up. Of course, Corey yesterday went 0 for 4, snapping his career best 26 game on Bay Street. And this one finds a hole in the right field. First hit of the ball game for either team. Comes here with an out in the top of the fourth. Nothing in one to Young, who struck out swinging his first time up. He swings here and hits one sharply back up the middle by Abrams and out into center. So Young singles on the heels of the Seager breakthrough hit. Rangers have men at first and second with one out now for Adolis Garcia. Adolis Garcia jumps on the first pitch, hits it deep out to right, but just in front of the wall, Lane Thomas makes the catch. Seager will have to run back to second, Young at first, as Garcia, 23 home runs on the season, put a charge into that one. Nathaniel Lowe, the batter with two outs and two on. First threat of the day for the Rangers, and this one a hot shot to second, handled by Garcia, took an extra second, and got it to first just in time to end the inning. Jamer Candelario leading off against the righty Dane Dunning. Here comes Dunning to the plate. And a swing and a line drive right center field chasing over is Tavares off to play it on a bounce. And there is the Nationals first hit. A leadoff single to right center field for Jamer Candelario. Now the catcher, K. Bear Ruiz. When I went in 21, we had five, and this time now we got six, so. <sighs> yeah, Ron Duran couldn't come up with it. And that means Candelario will make it to third. The throw into yeah. second, though. He's in time yeah, to tough. get a hustling Ruiz. Huge. huge right there. Leo backing up. What does it do for a pitcher? What, like your mindset, you see guys laying out, that's one thing, but then having yeah. the other guy, the backside guy, yeah, I mean, back it up and make the play. That's the little things in the game, right? You know, uh, he lays out right there and, you know, nobody's backing up. I mean, they're everybody's scoring. Now you got two outs and runner at third. You feel a lot more confident with this at bat. The quicker we can get them in, the better chances we have oh, before we get there again. This one looped oh, into center. It hangs up long enough for Tavares to make the catch. Nathan Evaldi, thanks for doing this. Have a lot of fun in Seattle, okay? Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Bottom of the fifth inning. No score between the Nationals and the Texas Rangers. Dominic Smith to lead off. Mm, this one yeah. is hammered out to right center field. Tavares will watch it go. It's a leadoff home run for Dominic Smith here in the fifth. Get after it, dog. What a one off the bat. He got
up behind that thing, and instead of massaging it to center field, he drives that ball to right center field to go up top. And the Nationals, who now lead one to nothing, have another threat here. Runners at first and second. One out for a very hot-hitting Lane Thomas. Behind in the Cal, one and two. And he gets a line drive into center field, charging his Tavares. He can't come up with it. Scoring is Alex Call, having to hold it second is Abrams, but Lane Thomas, an RBI single to center. What an effort by Leotis out there. Abra Candelario is grounded into a double play, single to right center. Grounded to second. Can they do it? Four, six, three, and just like that, the inning is over. Rangers have men at the corners and one out in the top of the six. Adolis Garcia digs in. Little fist into left field. Dickerson charging hard. He can't get it. Coming in to score is Simeon. That one drops down for an RBI hit for Adolis Garcia. Well, he did not hit it very hard, but he hit it where he needed to, and that's certainly good for the Rangers to get on the board here again. Now we'll try to get Mitch Garver to keep the lead intact. Garver a ground out to the second baseman, and he had a base hit his last time up. Grounded to third, knocked down by Candelario. He slings it over there in time to get Garver to end the inning. Well, the base is loaded now for Alex Call. A pretty good hitter against lefties. He has been poor against righties. This is going to get down for a base hit. Ruiz has scored. Smith right behind him. Alex Call delivers the two-run single. Alex Call gets something out over the plate. A little backup slider. And now C.J. Abrams. There go the runners. The pitch is swung on and grounded toward the middle. It's through. Past the diving Simeon for a base hit. Garcia will keep on running home. And over to third goes Call. C.J. Abrams makes it 5-1. to one. With the runners going, he drives a base hit through the Rangers infield. And the Nationals tack on another run here in the last of the sixth. Leone Tavares batting here in the seventh. 1-2 pitch. Woo. Fastball in there at the belt outside corner. Caught him looking. That is Corbin's sixth strikeout. And he finishes off seven strong innings. In the bottom of the seventh inning with the Nationals leading 5-1. to one. The Pitch to Joy Manessis. Hit well out towards right center. Did he get enough? He did. Another home run for Joey Manessis, his fourth here in the series. Now this is what you want to see from Joey. Yes, the pull homers are awesome, but that is his true power to right center field. Full extension on a fastball up and away. So two outs, and now we'll face Stone Garrett. First at bat for Garrett. Came on defensively in the top of the inning and left. Launched in the air to left field. Back on this one, Duran to the warning track. At the wall, he's out of room, and it is gone. Stone Garrett drops it down to the Rangers bullpen. The Nationals have two solo shots here in the seventh. They now have a 7-1 to one lead. Rangers have men at first and third with one out now for Adolis Garcia. That's a fair ball and a chuck over to second is on target and in time. Damer Candelario able to make the play at third. Garcia safe at first reaching on the fielder's choice RBI. The Rangers have another run up on the board here now trailing seven to two. Mitch Garver. Mitch batting with Garcia at second low at first two and out. This one is hit into the right center field alley. Thomas is over and he slides to make the catch. Lane Thomas had to travel a long way. For the final out of the inning. Now two on for Texas with one out. Are we love to dial up a twin killing? This could be it. The second there's one on the first. Ball game over on the double play. Hunter Harvey puts the finishing touches on a 7-2 win for the Washington Nationals heading into the All-Star break.